Hey, good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to uh, Fast Electronic and Loud. We've got some uh, right in line with uh, what we do over here. Uh, this is actually the uh, Trio uh, brand battery engineering. Uh, this is a basically a high performance audio battery. This is uh, has a glass mat material inside. Um, this is a non lead battery. These are for guys. Um, if you're upgrading your sound system in your vehicle, if you've been watching my channel, you've seen I've done some upgrades to my sound system. I have a capacitor in there now, but uh, an actual separate battery is about a hundred times out of a capacitor. Uh, if you look at the marketing from, say, kinetic uh, power cells, you know they're 100, 200 times out of a capacitor. Uh, this particular model is actually the Treo SSX35B. Uh, this is a 12 volt uh, audio glass mat battery. I picked this up from our local store here in Springfield, Illinois, at uh, Benchmark Auto Sound and Security. Uh, I've worked with uh, Jeff West, the owner there. Uh, for about 17 years now. He's been in business 15 at that location, but uh, previous to that we were working together at another store. So this is actually going to be getting installed today, guys, um, in my Dodge Charger. I'm actually going to add this in line with my factory battery. Uh, we're going to be using uh, things such as 4-gauge power cable. We're going to be using some crimp rings. Basically, guys, this goes in line with your battery. So, you know, I'll have a couple positives here. One of the positives will be going to my stock battery. The other one will be going to the amplifier. And this is your ground. You would ground that out to your chassis ground, just like you've done your your amp or your factory battery now. Um, anytime you guys are adding an extra battery, it's very important, guys, to remember fusing. Uh, anything with a battery power source, rule of thumb, 18 inches or less, no matter what. For example, I already have a fuse in the car now next to my battery, but I'm installing an additional one. Um, the one I'm using here is actually a DB Link. Uh, this is the NAN LF H3. It's actually just a basic... Um, A&L fuse holder does uh, take the A&L style fuses there. So this is 150 amp, more than I need for the protection there. So I'll do a separate video on the unboxing of this uh, DB Link material. So like I said guys, this is just kind of a take on the trail battery. Uh, it's going to be installed in the trunk in the car, the Dodge Charger, in line with the existing stock battery. Like we said, we're going to have a cable going to that positive from the factory battery and then another cable be hanging off and feeding your amp and ground just like you would ground anything else so uh, it is recommended guys uh, these come to the shelf at the store fresh but sometimes you may want to put a trickle charge on there I've already actually tested this it was actually about 13.8 volts so it's actually good for an install today so like I said guys this is a Treo Engineering SS X35B in black, this is the uh, high performance audio uh, glass mat battery available. You know, if you want to upgrade your sound system, whether it be for everyday driver, for a competition system, or if you want to simply use this in your boat, it's just a great dry cell battery. There uh, can be mounted in any position uh, without fear of leaking. And the great thing, if you guys know about Dodge Chargers, we have to vent our battery. That's because there's acid. This is uh, lead free, so there's no acid, no venting. So. Like I said, guys, hope you enjoyed. This is the Treo Engineering SS X35B again. I'll put a link in the description below. But uh, it's fast, electronic, and loud, and thanks for watching.